January 2023, we'll see a new release of Deckhand, which has some interface improvements. This video will quickly show you what's changed. Let's start with a refresher on how previous versions of Deckhand have operated. Then we'll contrast that with the new release. In previous versions, the Activities panel can be opened and closed using the button at top left. Just under it, there are some actions which can be performed while you're not in a trip. At the top of the Actions panel, there are both column selection buttons, such as Maint, Close, and Open, but sometimes additional buttons, such as Help or Settings, may also appear. When you start or resume a trip and see the map, a plus button appears on the map where you can find additional actions to perform, and you end a trip by using the End Trip button. Now, let's see what's changed. It's easy to tell if you have the newest version because you'll always see a new action bar at the bottom left. The upward pointing arrow always opens the action menu as you see here. You'll also find the settings and other buttons such as help next to it on the left. Note that different workflows may have different options and features than you see but the lower left action bar will always be present. The top of the action panel always contains column selector buttons, such as the Maint, Closed, and Open tab. You still start or resume trips by using the same big button in the center under the logo. The biggest change is that during a trip, when the map is visible, the End Trip button is now included in the Action menu with other trip actions you can take. As usual, if you have any questions, just go to our website for support or send mail to support at deckhandlogbook.com. Thank you for using Deckhand.